What is going on people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab and we are back today again as promised to talk about iMovie. Today we're talking about something that seems so simple but a lot of people don't necessarily know what it is when they're starting and that is fading music out and fading music into your clips. Again, this is something that may seem really simple if and when you know how to do it but the whole reason for doing these iMovie tutorials is that even though I've moved on to Final Cut Pro, I can really, really remember when it is that I first started on iMovie and I kind of just kind of want to give back a little bit to the people that are learning or going through iMovie right now or using iMovie as their main editing software to get things done. So this is super simple. This will be super quick. Let's jump into it. Also, side note, if it is that you do watch any of my other videos, like the last one I just did on lighting setups, this is the new lighting setup. This is it here at nighttime. This is what it looks like. That's the lights in the background lighting everything up. So check that out. Link will be somewhere up here. But let's jump into the software and get into it. All right, so we're in iMovie here and we have a clip here. Let me just play it from close to the end. Sounds like that with an abrupt stop. As I said, this is super easy. So as you see, you could rest your cursor and you get a bunch of different options. If you rest it over this bar right here, you get these two arrows and you see it says fade audio out, in and out. And you just pull, the longer you pull, the longer your fade will be. And let's play it back in here and see how it sounds. that simple and if you wanted to fade audio in it's the same thing just at the start of the clip so if you go here get the arrow on that little bar just pull it in and your audio would be faded in another little pro tip here if you wanted to just change the audio custom throughout your um, timeline you can option click and it will create these little points and then you could do whatever you needed to do with the audio at that point that you click. So if I wanted to drag it down here or pull it up for some reason, or you could just create a little custom phase. And yeah, it's that simple. So yeah, it's that simple. It's that easy. Once you know how to move your cursors around, that's exactly how you fade your music in and out for whether that be YouTube videos or if you're doing a travel video or if you just want to end the music or whatever. It's that easy to do. So hopefully after watching that, that gives you a full understanding of how to fade music in and out. Check out the other two videos that I've done on iMovie tutorials. It's turned into a little series. As I've said before, we will be doing one of these every single week ongoing until I feel like I've run out of things to say. So again, this is Creative Tech Lab. Check out the website, creativetechlab.com. Thank you for watching. Hit the notifications button, hit the subscribe button to see all the other creative things that we have going on on the channel and on the website. And I will catch you in the next one. Brrr. Bye.